Hello everybody, it's Karen. Thanks for joining me. I've got, uh, I think it's five cards today that were completely inspired by this paper pack from Paper Rose Studio. It's the Dear Isabella pack, and I'm just um, giving you a quick look, a quick look at the, the pack itself right now so you can see what's in it. Uh, and this, this topper page I have used, but also this next page. Oh, not this one, this one. I love this. I just, I don't know what it was about this, but those flowers were just so beautiful. So all my cards today are using that one particular paper pad or, or piece of paper. And these are the other ones that are in that collection. There's lots of these butterflies uh, and coordinating paper to go with it all. So to start, I've cut up all these little toppers and I cut this piece of paper, I cut it in half horizontally and then I cut it into thirds. And I will use all of it uh, today. But right here, I'm just trying to figure out what on earth I'm going to do with it all. <laughs> so you can see this is just my my process for sort of figuring it out. I'm I'm taking the toppers and sort of seeing which way I would like them to go. And just sort of giving myself a an idea of what's going to happen. So the first card, I decided to emboss it with the doodle flower cover plate. I misted up that piece of paper or cardstock with water before I put it through with the rubber mat and embossing plate. And I love the texture that it gives this. So that is the card front. Now I looked at it and I thought it was just too white. So I took an alcohol marker and I just went around the edges. I just tried to pick a coordinating purplish color and I've glued that down and I cut out some of these leaves. Now I'll have everything listed down below so you'll know what's what, but I cut a few out of white cardstock and some out of vellum. And then I've just added on a few little pearls onto that one. And it's a top folding card. So that's the first one. Now again, for the second one, I used an alcohol marker just to make a background on the edge. And I decided to put some ribbon on this one. So I put some double-sided tape on the back and I'm just attaching that ribbon to that. I'm, I was trying to figure out where to position it. And I'm gluing all of that down now onto that card front that I've uh, used my marker on. And here I'm using the Greenery One metal die. I've cut those leaves out of vellum. And just to give a little bit of color, I am using a Copic marker on the back side of these. And you can see I'm just flicking a little color just down the center of the flower of the leaves, not out to the edges even. <clears throat> and then on the front, I have this Ranger Frosted Crystal embossing powder. I, I've had this for a long time, so I don't even know if it's available or not. But it gives a very pretty uh, sparkly kind of a finish. So I just uh, covered the front of all the leaves with that. So there's a little bit of purplish color to them and then that sparkle. And I'm sorry that my camera has gone out of focus here. It, it uh, I think when I was holding those leaves up, it sort of lost its focus. But all I'm doing here is just gluing these leaves. I've cut them up and I'm just tucking them in behind that topper. And the topper I've actually put up on foam tape. <clears throat> so I've got that centered and I'm just gonna press that down. So there you go, that's the card in focus. Okay, now this next one, I'm using this Flourish Circle die. I've actually cut the outer ring three times and the inner one two times. So I have a sentiment that's from the black and white sentiments and I just thought I would put that but because I had this embossing powder out of my desk I decided to emboss this entire piece of cardstock. So I have covered it with the Versamark ink and I'm just uh, covering it now with that Ranger Frosted Crystal and that's how it looks when it was all done. So it kind of gave it a, an interesting uh, texture and a sparkle to it. Now here, because I 
I've added dimension to those fleur circles. I needed to pop this vase up. So I just took, I think it was three little pieces of scrap cardstock. I've glued them together and here I'm just uh, making them fit in behind that flourish and within the circle. Just so that my vase doesn't sink down when I glue it on. Because there's quite a gap there. So I'm gluing on the vase onto that and there's the sentiment. So that's the third card. It is a little bit wider than the other two, but that's the third of the half a page of that of that really pretty paper. Now this is a different card fold. Uh, I've never done this before, but I saw it on a video and I will link uh, the video that I saw down below. Uh, you may want to take a screenshot of this little template uh, just so you know what's going to happen, but I will go through it with you. Uh, so I started off with an 8 by 11 inch piece of card and I did use 80 pound card, which I think was just adequate. I think it was perfectly fine. So here I'm scoring it on the 11 inch side at 2.5 inches, 4 inches, 7 inches and 8.5 inches. And then what you want to do is mark the center point, which is five and a half inches. So I'm just using my little score tool there just to put a little mark or a nick. Uh, and again, on the bottom edge as well. So you can see that little mark there. You could put a pencil mark if you want, uh, but you would have to erase the pencil afterwards. Now I rotated it and I'm going to score again at one and a half inches and six and a half inches. And then that little mark uh, that we put at the top there, that's to show you uh, where to make that triangular point go to. Now, I found the easiest way to do this was to cut these edges off first. So I'm cutting along that score line all the way to the second score line. And you want to save the square piece there, but get rid of the rectangle. So it's best if you actually remove that score line itself. And then again here I'm cutting all the way up to the second score line and cutting across at the first score line. So you do that on both edges. So here I'm doing the same thing on the bottom. And you're left with this kind of a shape. So basically that's where you're trying to get the score line to go is from this point uh, to the center and I found if I put a piece of masking tape down on my scoreboard along one of the lines then I just lined up that that mark at the center that I had made to this corner because you're trying to score that and I just found when I couldn't see where I was going I got horribly frustrated <laughs> so this this just made it easier for me so I'm going from the score mark that I've made at the five and a half inch all the way to that corner. And then I'm folding in on that second line. And I did uh, burnish that. And so then you just place that point on that line right beside the masking tape. So right from the corner where I folded it in to that point. And honestly, this is the hardest part of the card is just making this line. So take your time when you do this and just make sure you get it right. And here you can see I'm like, oh, where am I now? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? But you go from that point out to that corner again. And once you've got that, it's, it's easy. Now these flaps will fold out and away from the center. So that's a mountain, mountain fold, valley fold is what you're going to do with these. Now, if you're going to decorate the inside, this is when you do it. This is my mock um, card. So this is how it's going to go in the end, just so you know. Now, to make that little pop-up box, I, was, I wanted to put the vase of flowers on that. That little, well, I used an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock and that's what I trimmed off. So I'm using that now and I'm scoring it at one and a half inches, two inches, three and a half inches, four inches, and then at five and a half inches. 
and that will give me um you could cut that it'll you're going to cut it so you it's right in half you're going you could make two of these pop-up mechanisms but basically you're just going to fold them all in as mountain folds so that goes all the way around into a little rectangle shape and that will be the pop-up so i'm just putting glue on one of those long edges I did fold it down flat. You can see I'm trying not to get glue in my fingers. And then I folded the end up and over just to make it all hold together. And you'll get that rectangular shape. And that will fold down when you go to close up this card. Now, you definitely want to make sure you don't interfere with those triangular points. So it needs to go between those. So. I found I, it was easiest to start just to start assembling. So you're going to fold this top piece down into the card and then the triangular point up and away. And you kind of want those to meet in the middle as best as you can. So hopefully you got the score lines right. I wasn't great with this one, I think. But I'm holding it in place and just really burnishing the creases. And again, I did the same thing on the bottom. So folding it up into the middle. And then the creases I folded down. So here I've, I can see now where I can put this um, pop-up mechanism. And I'm putting glue on the back and the right-hand side. And I'm going to put it in place above that triangular peak. So I'm just folding up my my sidewall there because you're going to want that to be flush so really it's easiest if you flatten out that tri that rectangular piece and just have it butting up against the right hand wall and then I'm just pushing it down and into place with my finger there and just let it set up really before you start moving it too too much now on this one I hadn't folded the sides so I'm going to fold them back down and away from the, the center now. And you can crease them. Now those long points, you can take wedges, it's best if you take a wedge out of these. It doesn't matter how big the wedge is, you're just going to cut from the bottom up to that first score line. Don't go past the first score line but right up to it. And it doesn't matter if it's a wider wedge or a not so wide wedge, it's not gonna show. But it will make it easier to fold up and, and uh, glue down. So I've got both those points up, I've got my side flaps down, I moved that one right hand side flap over to the left and I'm folding this flap, this little wedged flap down at both ends. And they fold down over the side and then you're just going to glue those in place. And then I'm going to fold the flaps, the front flaps over and do the same thing on the other side. Now on this one, I think I hadn't uh, quite got the side, the flap cut terribly well, so I'm just gonna take a little bit more off. And that'll just let it sit a little more easily in that side. Now I did go in after and I covered these, uh, these little tabs up. So then when you open it all up, it's like a little inside box. So I've taken a piece of that cardstock on the back to cover the back part and I die cut I used the lots of rectangles dies and I have just cut a frame and the centerpiece and I'm gluing that down and that's where you can write a message so I'm adding in a few little fussy cut butterflies that was from that paper that uh, it's the same paper that I, I used the purple background for on the inside and the back and it has the butterflies on the back so I just cut a few of those out now on the inside here, on this pop-up mechanism, I'm going to attach this vase. I've added a sentiment to the vase, and I'm just kind of trying to get it to be where I want it to go, and straight. And then you sort of have to push this down. I wasn't entirely sure, 
but I sort of just got my finger in there and held it as I closed things down and pressed it into that pop-up mechanism. And then I did have a few more butterflies that I had cut, fussy cut out, and I just stuck those in all around that. So it's quite fun. It's fun that that little vase pops out and forward. Now, these are little panels that I had cut from that beautiful paper, and I'm just adhering those to the front with some glue. And that's basically the card. Here I am covering up those tabs that were on the side, just so you didn't see them. Now I've cut a strip of that, um, one of the bottom strips from the paper rose paper, and that little congratulations topper. And I just wanted to strengthen this up a little bit, so I'm putting a piece of scrap card stuck on the back of that, and gluing this topper down in the middle. This is going to be the belly band to hold this card together. So I'm just adding the glue to this and trying to center it on onto this uh, little topper here. So once I got this down, I centered it over my card. And you want to um, fold it around the side edges of the card. You don't want it to be so tight though that the band can't move and you don't want it so loose that it won't hold the edges together. So you sort of just fold it gently around the, the edges there and press it into place. And then I use my extra piece of cardstock just to sandwich that against the topper. Now, if you don't like the writing on the back of that paper strip, you could cover that with a little scrap piece of cardstock. Uh, just so you don't see the writing, but it, it didn't really bother me for this one. Now, to make a little fastening, I just fold these over at the back, and I cut through the top halfway down to the middle, and on the bottom one, I cut from the bottom up halfway to the middle, and that will give you a little... I try to get the cuts at the same point, and that will give you a little mechanism that you can fold, you know, tuck into each other. And then I just trimmed them so that they were about the same width. So then that will go on the front of the card. Um, and it's also, it's got the sentiment, so it's also a part of the card, I think, really. And then you can see you just fold those into each other. So that's the card. I just thought that was really quite fun. And then when you take it apart, um, it's quite, it's a fun card for somebody to get, I think, you know, with the dimension that it has and that little pop-up vase. And that beautiful paper, it's really, really pretty. So I had so much fun with that. I thought I would try one more. Um, this one with butterflies, and I wanted to see if, instead of making the pop-up mechanism, if I could do it with acetate. So here's the card. I did it exactly the same as the first one, uh, but I've got some little strips of acetate here, and I thought I would try this, and I've left this in to show you because I'm not entirely sure this was a good thing to do, <laughs> but I think it could work. Um, so all I'm doing is I'm folding one end of that acetate down at a 90 degree angle and I'm putting some double-sided tape on it. And I wanted to stick it uh, along that edge. So here you can see I'm attaching it fairly close to the top of the box. And that was a bit of a mistake. So I've left that in and you'll see what actually happens to this. So when I go to close it, that butterfly sort of gets caught up in that triangular mechanism. So it wasn't very good. So I ended up taking that off and I moved the whole acetate strip down closer to the back of, or the bottom of the box. And then the butterfly goes in underneath the folding triangle piece, which worked a bit better for sure. So you can see it's just sliding there. And then I stuck a second piece down 
uh, or a second butterfly down at the bottom. And now really this one is too close to the triangle. I've left it there, but I think I'm going to end up moving that one little butterfly. And again, this is the last of that beautiful paper that I've cut into panels and I'm just attaching that. And there's the, the butterflies. I kind of like that they moved a bit. And so here's where my topper came from. I just stamped the sentiment. I had this uh, sentiment strip, um, I forget what it's called. Sorry, I can't read that when I'm doing the voiceover. I'll have everything listed below. And the flowers I took from that little, from that card, cardstock too. So that's the card with the little, the belly band on it. And the little butterflies. They're fun little cards to make. You know, I, I feel like there's a lot of things you could do with these cards. And that's the back with the little flower border on it instead of the butterflies. They definitely stand up well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. That's just a different card fold for you and a few different ideas on how to use that paper. Thanks for joining me and I hope you guys are having a great day.